In this video, I want to talk about um, accepting text inputs from the user. Uh, if you've seen WatchKit 1, you'd know that how you accept text inputs is by this UI here. You have a series of recommendations, uh, you can use the dictation feature, and you can pick an emoji which is kind of terrifying. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can present that text select to the user and handle the output it gives you. So if we go to watch kit, uh, if we go to our app, we can see I have a set a default app set up with a label and a button connected to an action. How to how you get that UI up is really simple. You go self dot present text input controller with suggestions. We go enter. Uh, the first thing it wants from you is a array of strings. These are your suggestions uh, and the suggested responses that users could have to the current context of your app. So I'm just going to give an array of a um, array of strings. Okay, so I have my array of strings. Next up we have this allowed input mode option. Go enter on that, go across, go dot. We can see we have three uh, options here. We have plain, we have allow emojis and allow animated emojis. So plain is just text. All the input that the user can give is text. Allow emojis um, allows the user to give you text and uh, standard, uh, what is it, uni character or whatever it is called, emojis. So standard emojis and all, you can just take that string and you can display it on anything. The final is the animated emoji. This as you can see down here from what I was doing before, gives you the animated emoji as a, I think it's a, either an image file or a GIF file, ultimately an image file. Um, and then you have to handle uploading that image somewhere and handling all that image and stuff associated with an image file. Uh, for this video, I might just go allow emoji uh, as we saw before, I had animated emoji, but for this video, I'm going to go allow emoji. If you want to handle those animated emojis, go ahead. Uh, the final thing we have is our completion handler. It accepts an array of any objects, so I'm going to call this output. So I'm just going to set my label I have here to say what the output was. So self dot output label dot set text, and I'm just going to take output. I spelt that wrong. That is stupid. And I'm also going to print it so we can see what it says properly. Um, what problems does this have? Can't invoke type any object. So I will just put that in a string. This will downcast it to a string, and this should all work now. Let's run our app. Now we have a button. Open it up. We can accept, as you can see, just the standard. Uh, emojis that everything handles, some little face, and then it gives us an optional array with the characters that were entered. We can also pass our strings, and yeah, that's how you handle text inputs in WatchKit uh, with your app. It's pretty simple, and it's actually a pretty good way considering how small the screen is and stuff.